Don't believe everything you hear. Let's talk about misleading food packaging claims. Recently, a subscriber to my mailing list reached out about one of my new brownie recipes and suggested that I try a new product they discovered. This product claims to be healthier, boasting significantly fewer calories, about 75% less to be exact, and drastically lower glycemic index score compared to a regular sugar used in most baked goods. Now, naturally, I was quite intrigued, so I took a look at the product on their website. However, upon scrutinizing their ingredient list, I made some quite interesting discoveries. And again, this underscores the importance of reading labels carefully and being aware that packaging claims aren't always substantiated. They often leverage clever marketing to sway consumer choices. Now, one striking point pertains to the product's main ingredient, crystalline fructose. Crystalline fructose is a monosaccharide or a simple sugar with an identical calorie content to regular table sugar, which is four calories per gram. The reason behind the product's lower calorie claim lies in crystalline fructose's sweeter taste. In fact, it's approximately 1.2 to 1.8 times sweeter than normal table sugar. So consequently, while a teaspoon of crystalline fructose may weigh less due to its lower bulk density, gram for gram, it actually provides the same calorie intake as table sugar or sucrose. And this distinction is crucial because replacing a heaped teaspoon of sugar in your morning coffee with this product might reduce the calories slightly. However, substituting it gram for gram in a recipe that calls for sugar yields the same calorie content, not to mention some potential unwanted side effects, especially for individuals sensitive to FODMAPs like myself, as crystalline fructose is a high FODMAP ingredient. Additionally, this product uses lactose monohydrate, which is a common sweetener in food products that, like table sugar, also contains four calories per gram. Claims of the product being 75% lower in calories hold true only when considering volume-based measures. So if you're using household measures like cups or teaspoons, the lower bulk density may reduce its calorie value slightly. However, if you are equating by weight, the calorie value remains exactly the same. Now, another aspect of the product's claims that I did find to be credible are those relating to the lower glycemic index. Now, lactose, for example, has a glycemic index of approximately 49, whereas fructose's GI range is even lower, somewhere between 15 and 25. Comparatively, table sugar, or sucrose, used in most baked goods, has a glycemic index of 65. This lower GI can be beneficial for individuals managing diabetes or insulin resistance, offering more stable control over blood sugar levels by mitigating sharp spikes and crashes. That said, for anyone with a lactose intolerance or IBS, consider the potential symptoms caused by this ingredient before making the switch from regular sugar. So to wrap up this video, while this product's claims of lower calories should be carefully considered, its potential benefits in terms of reduced glycemic index could be particularly advantageous for certain dietary needs and health conditions. Now, if you still have questions on this subject, please feel free to leave me a comment below and I'll see you in my next video.